What's going on people of the internet? My name is Mantis and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create expansion packs for your NPC. So when I say create expansion packs I mean like when you go on your NPC and you go into the expansions area you'll normally see find the inbuilt um, uh, expansion packs that came with your NPC. Now a lot of people want to know how exactly do I create my own expansion packs so they look official, they look nice and they look neat like the ones that I've sh I've got shown here on my desktop um, taken from my NPC and as you can see here I've got a couple expansion packs and covers that I got from the internet and put on here to make it look really official, really neat, really looks cool, really looks professional. So I'll show you guys exactly how I do that. So first thing you need to do is you need to install um, the NPC Expansions Builder. Now to do that, that comes with the original installation software. Obviously, you can get that software from the Akai website. That's the original MPC 2.0 software. Uh, choose your, your device. In my case, it's an MPC Live. I've got my MPC Live attached to my computer right now. And you're just going to go through the standard installation procedure. And what you're going to make sure is that you have an application here called MPC Expansion Builder installed. Most of the time, um, <laughs> most of us missed that installation. I certainly did when I was installing it uh, because I didn't know what it did exactly. Um, so what you need to do is just make sure that blue tick is, is ticked and just click install. Now, whilst that's installing, what you need to do is uh, find the program that you need to create. In my case, I've got a program here on my MPC called chromatic file library now i'm going to drag that onto my desktop so that uh we can create the expansion pack out of that folder so that's been dragged onto the desktop so when you create a, a program on your mpc or, or or some instrument programs on your mpc it doesn't create it as an expansion pack it doesn't put any cover art or anything like that so this procedure will show you how to do those other bits. So once uh, the MPC Expansion Builder software is installed, you just need to navigate to the application from your drive. So in this case, if we do Shift-Command-C, and we go to the Applications folder, and under the application folder, we want to scroll all the way down to Utilities, and you will find it under Utilities. And I'll just click on that. Alternatively, you can actually go to Launcher and you can go to Other and you can find it there as well. So it's in two, two quick lo locations that you can find the application. Right, so once you get the application running, you're presented with this. Opportunity to put some cover art, which is here. And then um, it needs to know the location of uh, the program that you'd like to make into an expansion pack which i've dragged onto my desktop so the first thing you're going to need to do is just drag this folder so in this folder i have you know all my uh, programs in here with my sounds and what have you by the way this that is an ni it's a native instruments uh, program kit uh, that i converted using an application called kit maker but KitMaker doesn't make it into an expansion, so I'm just going to convert it from a standard program into a MPC expansion. And once again, just remember, you can do this with any program that you create. So I've just dragged that into this option right here. So content in, so it just tells it where the content is. Then you want to give it a version number. So I'm going to call this version 1.0. You can put manufacturer's name, here, I'm just going to put NI for native instruments and for the title um, of the pack, let's just call it fire. Okay, and here you just need a personal identifier. I mean, they've got a format here which goes personal, my name, and then my kit. Um, I'm not too sure how flexible that, that naming structure is, but I'm just going to uh, put uh, my name, Mantis, and I'm just going to put dot fire. 
and just put um, fire kit. Right. Okay. And then most importantly, I need to get some cover art. So for this, uh, I'm going to go online and just find some cover art for um, chromatic fire. Put an eye and go to images. Find an image that you like. I yeah, like that one. Drag it across onto your desktop. Close that. And then you get that. So what you're going to need to do for this, for it to really work well, is that you're going to need to, the image needs to be in a square. Now this is kind of rectangular-ish, and it's not quite a square. So you're going to need to uh, crop the image so that it's, it's, it's a square, basically. So what I tend to do is I just use my crop tool here. And let's see, let's just crop it. Let's see, six. So it's just a perfect square. Let's move that here, move that here. Move that there, right. So it's perfect square. Just drag it, line it all up, make sure it looks all nice, how you want it to look on your NPC or your NPC software, and click crop. There you go, perfect square. And we're going to save that. Click save, close that. Now that's saved, we can just drag that image in there as a square, and there you can see it. And that's exactly how it's going to look on your NPC. So once that's done, put in, put in a little description, NI pack, do it. Now you get these error uh, messages because what it's, what it's looking for is it's actually looking for a preview folder, uh, which also allows you to um, um, also allows you to put previews of the sounds that you've that you've got inside your pack. In this instance, I'm not going to show you guys how to create those preview uh, sounds. I might do that on a, in a later video. But for now, we're just going to create a standard uh, expansion pack. So we're going to do uh, create, and it will ask you to because what it needs to do is create an XPN uh, file. And you're going to navigate to the folder where this expansion pack is, which in my case is the desktop. And I'm going to do navigate to it, and then I'm going to type the name of the pack, which is I'm just going to call it Fire. Let's do save. So now this is building, I guess, some kind of database for the computer that tells um, the NPC where the files are located, what types of files they are, the location, etc., etc. So it just takes a bit of a while to build that database. And whilst that's building, what we can do is we can load up our MPC 2.0 software. Right. Just that and just cancel that. Right. So as you can see, with our software here, we have no expan expansions there. So what that means is that there's no expansion uh, kits that have been put in there. So now the next thing you need to do, once that's been created, as we can see it has been created, is go into the folder and drag this XPN folder onto the MPC software. Okay, and once you drag it in, you will get that pop-up. And what that pop-up is just allowing you to do is to import the uh, new program or the new expansion pack into the software. So we do import. And what you'll soon see is it will pop up here on the right hand side showing expansion. So what this means is that it's not quite on your MPC just yet. It is in your software. Um, so the next stage of this is to export it from the software onto your MPC. And we do that just by going to Tools and by going to Expansion Manager. And there you can see um, the kit right there. And we need to click on export. Once you, once you click export, it gives you the opportunity to locate the drive that it's going to go on. Now, I'm pretty sure that this same procedure can be used if you have maybe an SD card. So maybe you have an SD card plugged into your computer. I'm sure you can ex export this as some kind of expansion pack onto the SD card if you don't have a hard drive installed. Haven't tried it myself, but I'm sure it should work.
Okay, so what you need to do now is just click the expansion or expansions if you've got more than one that you need to export. And then what you'll do is click that, choose to drive uh, with your MPC software, and then you'll click export. Now, in this case, I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. But what I will, what I can do is show you once it's all done um, on my MPC, it will put it in this folder here called expansions and that is where all your expansions that show up on your MPC are stored. I think this has been helpful. Please let me know if it has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a like, please subscribe and um, maybe next time I'll show you guys some other bits and bobs to do with creating expansions, i.e. creating previews. Hope this has been helpful. Hope to hear from you guys again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out.